Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2020 movie, 365 Days. It's time to recall, let's get started, turn on subtitles, and spoilers ahead. The movie starts and we are taken to the land of Lampedusa. We see a building that has been built right on the edge of the sea. The scene shifts to the roof of the building where a meeting is going on between two parties and one of the party heads is our main character Massimo's dad, who happens to be a mafia boss. The other party offers him to be a part of their business and that business happens to be human trafficking. The old man does not seem to be interested and he calls his assistant named Mario. After that, they walk away. We then see Massimo looking afar with his binoculars. It turns out that he is looking at a woman who appears to be having a photo shoot. She has her hand raised above her head as she poses and smiles. His dad comes to him and asks him what he's looking at. Massimo hands the old man his binoculars and tells him to be mindful of the beautiful woman. He tells him that they are heaven for the eyes but hell for the soul. He then goes on to lecture his son saying this is not the time to be doing such things. As the old man talks to him, he gets shot from behind and it turns out that the other party did not really cope well with the refusal of the old man. Massimo is also hit and he collapses on the ground while his father dies right on the spot. It has been five years since this incident and Massimo is the one who looks after the business now. We see that he is at a meeting in the US and he is upset about his family's assets being frozen. The scene then changes to a hotel where another meeting is going on and we see a young woman named Laura Beale. On the other hand, Massimo is pissed after his meeting and Laura's meeting is also over. Both of them get into the respective cars and hit the road. As she hits, she opens her phone and watches a video of herself in which she is showing more than she should have. On the other hand, Massimo receives a video from a woman named Anna which he does not seem to like. When Laura gets home, she tries to get her boyfriend's attention but the man tells her that he is working right now. He then goes on to tell her that they have to get up early in the morning to catch their flight so she better get some rest. She gets upset and leaves for her room. Massimo makes his way back to Italy with Mario and he goes on to learn that a container full of cocaine has been hijacked. One of Massimo's men named Domenico goes on to promise his boss to find whoever is behind it. Massimo however does not say anything and makes his way to his private cabin. As he gets there, he grabs one of the air hostesses and tells her to give him a blowjob. On the other hand, we see Laura using a vibrator as she of course got rejected by her boyfriend. The scene then changes to the next morning where Laura is seen landing in Italy with her boyfriend named Martin. They go on to celebrate one of their friend's birthdays and the girl's name is Olga. Martin really seems to be attached to the birthday girl as he remembers what her favorite drink is and goes on to give her a bottle. Laura seems to be jealous and she goes on to tell everyone that she has to relieve herself and leaves. As she tries to find the toilet outside, she runs into Massimo who goes on to ask, are you lost baby girl? The scene then changes to the next morning where the group is enjoying at the beach. Laura and Olga are at the beach enjoying the sun bath in the afternoon. Laura tells her friend that Martin has been ignoring her. Laura goes on to tell her that the man gives more importance to his work and his friends than he gives to her. Martin joins them, he goes on to tell them that he has been having the best time of his life. Laura gets pissed off and goes on to confront him, saying they plan to visit this place together and they have barely spent any time with each other. Martin tells her to take it easy, reminding her that she has a weak heart. That night, Laura is sad and goes on to take a walk around the city all alone. It does not turn out to be a good idea as she gets kidnapped. When she wakes up the next morning, she finds herself in a big room and the doors are locked when she tries to get out of there. As she shouts for help, the door opens and she makes her way out of the room. She looks around and on the wall, she sees a painting of herself. And this is when Massimo shows up. She is too tense, she recognizes him but goes fainted after that. When she wakes up again, she loses it. She goes on to shout at Massimo, asking him why on earth she has been brought to this strange place. Massimo then goes on to tell her the whole story about how he saw her for the first time at the airport. He then tells her that he almost died that day and that was the day when his dad died in front of his very eyes. He then tells her that when he got shot and his world seemed to be flashing in front of his very eyes, it was her image that came. He tells her that he kept seeing her face till he was in a coma. He goes on to tell her that he has been looking for her all around the world and that he is always telling himself that one day he is going to find her and so he did. He then goes on to tell her that no one is going to harm her there. He says that he is not even going to touch her without her consent. Laura is pissed, she does not feel anything for him and she tells him that he cannot just kidnap some girl out of nowhere and expect her to become his. She tells him to let her go as she wants to join her friends. 
He tells her what he is going to do after going back to the group anyway. Her very own boyfriend has been cheating on her, and he goes on to hand her a series of pictures that prove Martin's infidelity. He goes on to tell her that she does not need to go anywhere. Her bags have already been taken from her room, and she can have her stuff. He tells her that they left a message for her boyfriend, and that message says she is not going to be around as she is going back to Poland. Laura still does not listen to him and goes on to tell him that he cannot just do this. He cannot control her like that. She gets physical, and Massimo grabs her down and tells her not to piss him off. He then goes on to make her an offer as he tells her that she has 365 days to fall in love with him. Massimo adds that after living with him for a whole year, if she still does not have any feelings for Massimo, she will then be allowed to leave. Laura then goes on to take out a gun and point it at him. He, however, again grabs her and pins her against the wall. They are then joined by Mario who tells Massimo about some delivery being made. Massimo then leaves Laura there and tells his other man named Domenico to take her back to her room. Massimo tells Mario that the feud with the Gattuso family is getting on his nerves as it could very much give them a hit in business. He tells Mario to organize a meeting. After a while, Massimo is talking to a man who has been tied to a giant boulder. It turns out that this man is being punished because he sold children to a brothel. While Massimo takes care of his business, Laura goes on to make an attempt to get out of the villa. She, however, comes across a horrible scene as she sees Massimo and his men killing the man who was tied earlier. Massimo and Laura are then seen sitting in the room where Laura is still traumatized by what she just saw, and Massimo goes on to tell her that the man they killed out there deserved it. He was caught selling children, which is a sick thing to do. Laura, however, does not seem to care about that and goes on to ask him about her cell phone and her laptop. Massimo tells her that he is afraid he cannot allow that just yet. He then goes on to tell her to make preparations as they are going on a trip. She gets pissed off and slaps him in the face, but the man does not react. She then has breakfast and takes a nap before Massimo appears again. He then takes her to Edna, where he takes her to shopping, and she goes on to buy things she could never dream of buying in her normal life. Laura tries to make another attempt to escape, but it does not turn out to be a good idea. Massimo catches her and goes on to tell her to change her shoes if she wants to run. Laura then goes on to ask him if he was telling her the truth when he told her that he is not going to touch her without her consent. Massimo tells her that he was right and Laura again asks him for her cell phone and her laptop. Laura and Massimo have dinner together that evening, but Laura does not seem to like the food and goes on to tell Massimo that her grandmother is a better cook than the one he has. She goes on to ask him about his business and he tells her that it is a very broad business. He has a number of hotels, restaurants, and clubs. As they talk, Massimo goes on to receive a message from that girl Anna again and she has sent him another video. That night, Laura gets her phone and her laptop and she right away tells her mother not to worry about her as she has gotten a job in Italy and she is having a great time. The next morning when Laura wakes up, she sees that Massimo is sleeping in the same bed by her side. That day, she takes a shower and Massimo joins her. She teases him but does not allow him to touch her and that frustrates Massimo. Laura is then taken to Rome for another trip and they stay at a hotel but not in the same room. That night, Laura goes to his room and goes on to tease him with her tricks yet again. She, however, walks out of the room when he comes forward to touch her. Massimo grabs her and goes on to chain her. Now she is anticipating that he is going to make love to her, but that does not turn out to be the case. They then hit the club later that night and Laura goes on to wear a dress that is too revealing and it pisses Massimo off. On top of that, she goes on to dance with a man from a rival mafia gang and that pissed Massimo off further. The man gets too handsy as he tries to have his way with her, but Massimo comes to her rescue and tells the boy's whole family to get out of the club. When Laura wakes up the next morning, she walks around and it turns out that she is on a yacht. She sees Mario and Massimo talking and it does not seem like a pleasant conversation. Mario goes on to tell Massimo that he did a stupid thing by getting into a feud with another mafia family, saying it is going to start a war now. He tells him to get rid of Laura and get back with Anna again. Laura realizes that she has done a wrong thing and she goes on to apologize to Massimo, but he is too pissed to accept her apology. He tells her that she acted like a whore at his club. Laura loses it and jumps into the water. Massimo jumps after her and takes her back. When she wakes up, she finds Massimo by her side and tells him that she is grateful to him for saving her life and he goes on to tell her that he does not ever want to lose her. The two then go on to have lovemaking multiple times. Later that evening, Massimo and Laura attend a masquerade ball where a woman named Anna threatens Laura. Massimo reveals that he dated Anna but told her he would leave if he found Laura and did so when he recognized Laura at the airport. After the ball, Massimo and Laura have intimate moments again. 
He tells her he is sending her to visit her loved ones in Warsaw and promises to join her after finishing up business. He then tells her he loves her. On the car ride to the airport, Domenico, another one of Massimo's mafiosos, tried to reassure a nervous Laura that Anna won't hurt her, but gets a phone call, tells Laura to wait in Warsaw, and rushes away. In Warsaw, Laura waits for Massimo for days with no contact. She reconnects with her best friend Olga and they go clubbing. She runs into Martin, who says he has been looking for her to apologize. He attempts to convince her to reconcile and follows her back to her apartment, where Massimo is unexpectedly waiting. Martin leaves and Laura and Massimo have sex. When Laura opens his shirt, she discovers his wounds from the ongoing conflict. She confesses to him that she loves him. The following morning, Massimo proposes and she accepts. However, she asks him to keep his occupation a secret from her parents. Back in Italy, Mario informs Massimo of rising tensions. Laura mentions feeling unwell but brushes off seeing a doctor. They discuss their upcoming wedding that her family is not allowed to attend as she does not want them to discover what Massimo does. However, Massimo allows Olga to come as Laura's bridesmaid. When Olga visits, Laura reveals she is pregnant. Olga urges her to tell Massimo about the pregnancy. Laura calls him and asks if they can talk after dinner. Meanwhile, Mario receives a phone call from a Torricelli informant that the rival Mafia family is about to kill Laura. Laura's car enters a tunnel but does not come out at the other side. Mario rushes to find Massimo just as Laura's call drops. Realizing the implications, Massimo breaks down. A police car blocks the entrance of the tunnel, and with that, the movie comes to an end. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.